This is our Forex blog for February 26, 2015. As I said before, I would do one Forex blog per week. Today was such a great day, I decided to get uh, the blog video over for the week so I can enjoy my weekend. Uh, you can see the Euro dollar had a loss here, small win. Absolutely huge win, decent win, and another you know, very nice win there at the bottom. Another win, and it's still on a trade right now, which at this time of the day is probably likely to get stopped out with a loss. Here's the pound. You can see yesterday. Win, 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 small loss, big win. Huge wins today. And then, you know, five, six pip loss right there. And then another loss. Here's the Australian. This one also did pretty well today. Uh, a win. And then once this huge move, it got short again for another 30 or 40 pips. And here's the um, stats I keep track of each day. Here's yesterday. 50% win rate, which is low compared to past days. 123 pips, 19 pips average win, but only less than 6 pip average loss. And that's the key to trading. Small losses, big wins. Here's the previous day. Uh, unbelievable day. Anything over 60% winning, I'm very happy with. Any amount of pips over 200, I'm very happy with. And again, the average win is twice as big as a loss. Another big day. And another great day as well. You know, my 100% focus is trading automated systems. We put these exact same signals that we trade into our software as our Forex signals. And in addition to the Forex signals, there's tons of tools that actually make our signals work so well. All of our statistical tools, the range projection, which shows how far different time frames move on average, uh, hourly, 30 minute, 4 hour, daily, uh, 60 minute, uh, the containment bands, the Hurst uh, bands, and all of the you know, obviously standard indicators as well as our digital signal processing based moving averages. Uh, very powerful tools in and of themselves. Our currency indexes, our currency meters, all of our statistical tools and show you basically which currencies are strong, which ones are weak, so you focus on. And I'm putting more and more of those statistical based tools in our software. And we also measure the swings, we know FIB targets, we know uh, Fibonacci profit targets, we have uh, also intraday FIB targets as well which help us get out of trades at very high probability times. And you know, that's it for this week's Forex blog.